Hey everyone, it's Jojo the Thrifty Teacher here with another haul. It's been a busy couple of days, um, just with work. We're coming to the end of the school year. If you have followed me or watched any of my videos, you know that I'm a part-time reseller. I'm a full-time educator. I mentor new teachers and it just gets crazy at the end of the year. Um, just different activities, trying to help with finishing up testing, being in classrooms, just to um, get the teachers ready for ending out the school year and just um, giving some pep talks and uh, doing things like that. So um, just been really busy. I come home and I'm tired and I fall asleep. And then when you fall asleep early, you wake up in the middle of the night and then you're awake and then the cycle starts all over again. So I'm trying to stay awake at least until 10 o'clock tonight. Um, we'll see how that goes. I think is when I start falling asleep, I'm gonna go outside and get the mail or do something. I don't know. Anyway, let's get into it. I Most of these things came from Goodwill. So it's getting hot, it's getting into the high 90s. Uh, low 100s, so I am not going to be in and out of thrift stores. It's just going to be ridiculous. Plus, I just have so much to get listed. I just have a lot to get listed. Um, and I'm not really looking forward to going into storage because it's not climate controlled. And when it gets to be 105, 110, it's like 180 million in the storage. So I'm trying to just list the things that I have around the house that I've bought that I haven't brought to storage yet. Lots of clothes. So I'm going to do this, do my book review, and then photograph some clothes to get some clothes listed. So here we go. Isn't this cute? I like these. I don't have this decor anymore. I think maybe I had a little bit in college. It says, this is why I liked it. First of all, dolphins are my favorite, but it says, those are all, those are a success who have lived well, laughed often, and loved much. Who leave the world better than they found it. Who never lacked appreciation for the earth's beauty. Who looked for the best in others and gave the best they had. So, I thought that was really nice. And here is the artist. It doesn't resell for much, but I thought it was... Like, it's beautiful, and it has this, it's already matted. Like, that's just great. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, the next thing is, I like buying Quacker Factory. I know it doesn't always sell. Uh, it's a long tail item, which means it takes a long time to sell. Um, $5.99 minus either 20 or 25%. If I went on Sunday, we get teacher discounts of 25%. But look how pretty it is with the rhinestones. If you know Quacker Factory, you know it's a QVC brand. I think the original person, she's passed, but her daughter does it, I believe. But the reason I like this, well, number one, I could wear it because it's a size large, but I wear my cardigans open, so I could probably wear this. And I just like the buttons on it. So here's what Quacker Factory looks like. I like it and it's like a I don't know if it's showing through but it's like a periwinkle it's more the periwinkle than lavender but I thought it was I love it and then this I paid $6.99 this is an extra extra large I just love the look of it this is a craft and burrow oh this says extra extra but it's a 3x and Craft and Barrow is a Kohl's brand. It doesn't sell for like a ton, but I think this will. I liked it. I'll list it, but I'll keep it in my closet. And I like that it's not a, uh, a full zip. I like it. And I'll list it, but keep it in my closet. Let's see. What else did I... Oh, isn't this cute? Let's see. I want to show you the... Let me take off the price. I only paid a dollar for it, but I want to show you the sticker on the bottom. Let's 
see. I thought that was cool. Made in Taiwan, Republic of China. And it was so funny. The day I went, and this was at Deseret, I believe. Isn't that cute? And this lady, as I was shopping, was following me around. And it's just like that tooled leather. And she was like, are you a reseller? And I said, yeah, are you? And she goes, no, I was just noticing the stuff you were putting in your basket. Which is funny because it's not a basket, it's a cart. But I know some people call them buggies in the South. Um, she goes, I was just noting, noticing the different stuff. And I said, oh, well, I'll list this, but this is for me. They even tooled the bottom of it. I love stuff like this. The kitschier, the better. I love it. I don't know. I had to smell it. <laughs> and this is a, what is this? What brand is this? It had to be some brand if I picked it up. Made in El Salvador. Designed in USA. I don't know. Why did I buy this? Maybe because I liked the logo? Heck if I know. Wait, what is this? K-U-H-L. I must have looked this up. It must be a good brand if I looked it. Because I don't know this brand. So I must have looked it up at some point. Whatever. Salt Lake City, Utah? I don't know. I must have looked it up. And it's just like a, a cardigan. Yeah, I must have looked it up. Size large. I don't know. Can you tell I bought this stuff a while ago? So I don't even know. Um, I thought these would be so cute in a cabin. Wouldn't these be cute in a cabin? And I have some... Oh, I'll show you what I got. Hold on. I'll show you. But yeah, I thought these were $4.49 for six of them. Not bad. And they're not branded, which I know sometimes people really care about the brand. But if the if the subject matter is good, then it's it'll sell. This could go in like a cabin, like your summer cabin. Or it could go into your hunting cabin. You know? Whatever, I like it. I got this. Acrylic. I mean, I was hoping there would be more than one coaster. So that's the back of it. But who cares? Because it has a ladybug and a daisy. Who cares if it's only one coaster and it's all scratched up? It's cute. Okay. I think I paid a buck for it. Whatever. I love it. And then look at this cute little dresser. Cute little dresser. Somebody tried to put those apple case. But it was funny because, you know, like, if you had one of these dressers when you were a kid, you did have those. Or you put stickers on it. But Strombecker Playthings Genuine Walnut. Oh, it's walnut. I don't even think I looked at the bottom of that. But the top drawer comes out. Which I just think it's funny that the bottom doesn't. Oh, this could be a TV stand. You could put a little fake TV up here and some plants. Or like a little fake VCR. I don't know if they have fake VCRs. But then I thought this was cool. How it was like dug out in there. It's not a full... I don't know. I just thought it was cool. I love Barbie furniture, okay? I do. I love it. Oh, I have to show you a boo-boo that I made. So I sent... A lot of 20 elephants to India and the person's like yeah there's 20 there but not the one I want I forgot to put these two in so now at my cost I'm sending these two I said do you want a partial refund um I don't remember if that was chipped or not Ugh. Whatever. I made the mistake. 
Because I said, do you want a partial refund? Or do you want me to send them? And they're like, send them. So now I'm going to have to send them. So I'm going to have to go to the post office for that because you have to do the customs form since it's not going to be able to be through eBay. Okay. So now, oh, sorry, let me jack it up. Okay. I thought this was cool. Um, first of all, I love that it says Mason on it. But that's not why I bought it. I bought it because of the holder. Isn't that cool? Isn't that neat? And when I list it, I'm going to ask them, like, ooh. <laughs> oh, that's on the outside. Hmm. This looks like an older jar. But I'll ask them if they want. Because this is going to be more expensive to send it in there. You know what? I'll just say jar not included. That's what I'll do. Just to make it cheaper for them when they pay shipping. This glass, I was shocked, shocked, shocked. I'm trying to get this off so you can see. I paid 79 cents for this. And I was going to keep it for myself. So it says, you are magic. And it's a narwhal. Okay. And it says Molly Hatch in it. This glass goes for like 20 bucks. I can't remember if it's like Molly Hatch is like her own brand or if it's for anthropology or something. I don't know. I was like, guess I'm not keeping it. And then these sell for pretty good. They are long tail, which means it takes them a while to sell. Two dollars. I think I got this at a church thrift store. It's just really whimsical. It's by um, old lady Lacombe. Aha! I made you smile gifts, but I just thought it was kitschy because it's cats, and then some people collect this. Um, distributor figurine but then it's like a totally 70s vibe and I like the colorway on it I like that those colors so I got that hold on I'm all sticky now and then um, I like these they don't sell for a whole lot but I just think somebody the other day said um, we collect things that are making us nostalgic for a very happy time in our childhood. And I, I'm big on like pound puppies and cabbage patch kids and strawberry shortcake and, um, things like that. So, um, I think this is another thing that is nostalgia, you know, these, these, uh, types of nightgowns. The nostalgia thing if I could get it so here's the front okay and what I like about it is it has pockets and then look at the back with the little cat booty now dogs are my favorite but how cute is this and it is a Beth Michael Beth Michaels $3.99, I would have liked to pay less for it, but whatever, because it's nostalgia. I mean, it's not going to sell for that much, you know, 15 bucks, but it's nostalgia. So that's why I got it. And I got this. This was $0.79. Cents. I just thought it was adorbs. That I'll keep and give, you know, a gift in it. And then I have these plates. I have four of these. And they're melamine, but it's made by... Goyana. And these sell, they were a dollar each, so they were four bucks. Um, I think they sell, maybe I'll get like 20 or 25. But again, I just, I like stuff like this. Yeah, there's scratches on them and stuff like that, but I haven't ever seen melamine plates like that. Melamine, whatever you say. And then this, look at, I did pay up for these trout lights. 10 feet, 
10 light set. I just thought they were cool. They're from 2003. But I thought this would be cool to go with my, to go with those um, placemats, right? That's so cool. Hey, I know some people that own cabins. They should buy that from me. I'll give them a discount. What else can I show you? Um, oh, yeah. Wiley Coyote, Warner Brothers. I paid up for him. I paid $4.49. Again, this is all 20% off. <laughs> He's cute, right? I don't see Wiley Coyote or the Roadrunner a whole lot. You know, because they're kind of a jerk jerks to each other um oh yeah okay let me show you so I got a bunch of these hold on I got a bunch of these knee and leg compression sleeves um I didn't realize you can't sell these used um but these are brand new and I got two x's they're size two x so I did pay $5.49 minus 20%, but I think each one of these goes for like $15 to $20, so whatever. And then I got these, and I'm not sure if I'm going to sell them or keep them, because I used to have them in my classroom, and I wanted to get them. Little Miss Naughty, Little Miss Somersault, Little Miss Stubborn, Little Miss Giggles, Little Miss Sunshine, and Little Miss Bossy. So I might keep them because I like these ones. Okay. Not to be sold separately? <laughs> well, they are. So I don't know what to tell you. I've had luck with this before. It's a shoe, sign, shoe shine kit. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's a disc washer, dummy. Yeah, for discs. Here's the brush. But I've had luck with those before. So, and I don't know, like I told them before, I don't know how much is in there, but I think people are more into getting the, the disc washer. And then, look at what I got. It was $3.49, but look, it's a noisemaker. You see that? It's old. It is old. So that might be, I didn't even look it up. Uh, it was $3.49 minus 20%. I'll probably just add it to my collection of weird things that I like to collect. And then I got to open this. I love these goodie bags. And here's the thing. I've seen some people, how they curate their goodie bags at some places. And they'll put like, oh, I'm just going to put all thread into a goodie bag. Or I'm going to put all candles into a goodie bag. I don't want that. I want mismatch and I want somebody who doesn't know what they're putting in these bags. Although some of them do. Some of them you'll see like three crappy things and then you'll see one really good thing and you have to buy the whole bag. But usually as soon as I pay for it, I rip it open, take out what I want and then just re-donate the bag as I walk out the door. So I ain't about keeping it. Um, or if I can give it away to a teacher or something, I will. So let's open it. Now this is cute. I'm not gonna sell this. This is an example. Ooh. 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 You know what? I do wanna do a whatnot sale. Maybe that could be one of the giveaways. That is pretty nice. Is that plastic? Yeah. Isn't that cute though? Huh. Look at how it's grabbing the light. Okay, I guess I'll keep it. I'm, I'm saving the best things. I still have another... Wait, what's this bag down here? Oh, yeah, the bag is the other compression. Do I have anything else in there? Nah. So I don't need to show you that. Sorry. Um, I got this. It's a Chevrolet C3100 made in China. 1995. So it's probably not worth anything. Look at the tailgate comes down. I'll look it up just to see if it's worth a couple bucks. 
If not, it goes into the prize box. I'll give it to one of the teachers to put in their prize box. What's this? 101 messages to encourage and inspire. Blessings of grace. So this is brand new, so I'll look this up and see if it's worth selling. Um, some broken, I'm taking out the two things that I think are cool. <gasps> look at this. I mean, I noticed this, but I didn't notice it. <gasps> it's in the shape. Okay, so, you know, it's a baby iron. You know, you put this on the wood stove, heat it up, and then <sharp inhale> your clothes or your hair. But look, it's in the shape of a duck. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> it's not marked, but this is cool. Okay, so um, I follow the Desert Mermaid. Um, Carrie, um, she used to work with the Niche Lady. And I went on her whatnot show the other day, and I told you I love like Cabbage Patch Kids. And you know those little like the pincher ones? Well, I found she had one. And I bought that for a couple bucks. And I'm going to add, I don't know that I'm going to list these. Ooh, I don't need the hair. Ugh, thank you. But look at her. So the one I have is a little, um, he's African American. And look at her. I found her in this bag. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at her. Mm. She's so cute. She's so cute. And then... This is the other one I got that was in there. Look at him. Oh. They're probably brother and sister. They both have green eyes. Cute, right? Look at how, like, oh, I gotta put some braces on you. Fall apart. Yeah. Probably supposed to be hooked in there more. Look at his little. Oh my gosh, how cute. That's weird. He doesn't have the blue on or the red on that side. Cute, right? So I'll probably add these to my collection. They used to, you can tell they used to have a sticker on the bottom, but they don't anymore. Anyway, so that's my, oh look, maybe there's a little bell in here. Oh, there is a little bell. That looks like a made in India piece. Look at that. It's like a, um, a nut, right? A bolt. Whatever. That's cute. I'll probably just throw this into somebody's bag when they buy stuff. And then the rest of it are broken shells. This one's not broken. That's pretty. That's a real pretty one. And then a broken sand dollar. Oh, look at the little doves are coming out of it. Oh, look at this one. That one's pretty. Here, let me. That one's pretty. Let's see. Yeah, the rest of them are just. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I'll take these two out. Because. Oh, what's that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just take the rest of them out. Keep those ones. All right, so that's the haul. I have way more things to share with you, but it's a long video already, and I got to get some pictures taken. Anyway, like, follow, subscribe, leave me nice comments. Don't leave me mean ones because you don't need to because you don't know me, and don't leave me mean comments. I'll just delete them. Okay, this is JoJo the Thrifty Teacher, um, and I'm going to stop this recording and start my book report. Recording. Remember, I don't edit my videos because I'm just learning how to do this. So you get what you get and you don't throw a fit.